street photography has two distinct approaches. I'm personally not a fan of today's YouTube dominated run and gun style where the photographer is relying on the spontaneity of the moment while foregoing the basics of what makes a good photograph. And while the sheer number of photos allows that photographer to occasionally get lucky with light and composition, and coupled with the latest color grading craze, it may produce some interesting photos. But they are rarely planned or deliberate, and very often, and most importantly, devoid of any emotion. Contrast this to fan hose images, where each photo remains true to the principles of good photography, a beautiful intertwining of light, composition and interest. Any one of these elements by itself would make a good picture, but combined, they are a powerhouse. More intimate than Cartier-Bresson, his photos pull me into the frame until I ache to walk these streets, to smell the city and to hear the sounds of a bustling Hong Kong. Van Ho felt it important to wait to capture the perfect moment, embodying what Henry Carter Brisson called the decisive moment, the waiting for the perfect moment to click the camera shutter. In sun rays, the shadow and light combine to form perfect shapes, intersecting with each other, providing natural framing. A cast of unknown actors on the set, the old man hunched over from the weight of what he is carrying, the father figure going up the stairs and the little boy, perhaps the only one spotting Fan Ho waiting patiently with his Roloflex camera. In the return, after what may have been a day of waiting for just the right moment with the right subjects in frame, he captures the shot. As Fan Ho said, I must wait until there's something that touches my heart. There must be humanity in art. If you feel nothing when you click the shutter, you give the viewer nothing to respond to. Composition and light seem to bend to his will. Take this iconic photo where he seems to buck the trend from what we learn about highlighting the important parts of your photo. Look at the bottom right to see the little girl. Applying classical dodge and burn, one might have only highlighted the area where you wanted to draw the eye's focus. Yet, here the whole central area is awash in light causing a sub-second for you to joyously discover the girl, almost like a hidden gem, a gift for paying more than a passing glance at the photo, making the photo that much more rewarding. In this photo, titled Hong Kong Midnight, we see another example of utilizing classic photographic composition techniques. The rail tracks provide natural leading lines to an area where our eyes focus could be drawn two people providing that focal interest. How different would this photo be without those two people crossing the tracks? And what about if those leading lines were not so leading? It suddenly becomes an underwhelming photo. This is another classic case of waiting for the right moment to take the shot. A fan of light rays, he used them masterfully to highlight his subjects, arguably the light sometimes being his subject. Or when not using light rays, he was still able to beautifully utilize light in his scenes, casting perfect silhouettes of his subjects or showing both the light and the accompanying shadow. His ability to capture light and shadow surrounding people in their daily lives gives the work a sense of theater. If you ever needed proof that your gear isn't as important as you think, then look no further than the work of Fan Ho. While you're obsessing over megapixels or chromatic aberration or debating crop sensor versus full frame, you could instead be out taking amazing photos with the gear you have. Arguably, one of our greatest street photographers that we can all learn from, if you're trying to understand the importance of light, shadow, composition and emotion in your work, buy one of his publications and study it until the pages fall out. I wish I could have a fifth of his talent for seeing what he saw, a fifth of his skills for composition, a fifth of his ability to capture precise moments and make pictures one fifth as impressive.